welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing this week's top 5 Wednesday topic and that is your favourite angsty romances. Now this was easy, there are so many so let's just get straight on into it. So my first two romances come from the Six of Crows series so I'm also including Crooked Kingdom in this, that should really go in front and this is by Lee Bardugo. So I'm just going to hold Crooked Kingdom up because this is where most of the romances are at their most angsty. So the first one is Nina and Matthias. I just love how when you first get introduced to them you know there's some history there and they're just bickering at each other, they hate each other, they hate each other's religions and faiths and they're like what on earth. But then in Crooked Kingdom, they kind of do come together a bit. They have more of an obvious relationship there. And then obviously, spoiler alert happens and you just end up crying for the rest of the book. But I do really like Nina and Matthias. I think they're amazing. And the next one is again, spoiler alert. If you haven't read this book, maybe mute this bit. But um, Jasper and Wylan, again at the beginning of the book, they are bickering so much they don't like each other you can tell but then it turns out they are both gay and they end up having like a little kiss and uh, well not a full-blown romance I don't think but in the future it would definitely become a full-blown romance and I just think they're sweet and adorable but there is a lot of angst there in the beginning. The next ship comes from the Court of Thorns and Roses and the Court of Mist and Fury series by Sarah J Maas and that is Fairy and Rysand. At the beginning in A Court of Thorns and Roses, there's not as much angst there. Well, there is at the end because Reese is trying to help her, but Fairy thinks he's just been an idiotic guy who loves himself and thinks she loves her. But then it all comes to more angst in Court of Mist and Fury, where she basically has to go to the Night Court for some deal that they had in the first book. And she hates him, but they find out they are mates and they end up totally in love and probably the best ship I have ever had but um, I just love their relationship and I cannot wait for a cart of wings and ruin because oh, that is going to be so so good. The next one is probably the original angsty romance and that is Elizabeth and Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. Even though I'm not too keen on this book you have to admit there is a lot of angst between Elizabeth and Darcy. Darcy obviously looks down on Elizabeth because she is poor and is not up to his standard whereas Elizabeth hates Darcy because of him looking down at her and not thinking she is good enough but then obviously they all have their bickerings and it's just it's just the original angsty romance that everyone is probably knows about and obviously it probably wasn't known as this back when this was originally written but I think now you can just tell especially in the movies you can just tell there's so much angst there and it's just a relief when they actually do get together. And the next one is my original angsty romance and that is Hermione Granger and Ronald Weasley from Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Now obviously when this was first released we didn't imagine Hermione and Ron getting together. When you reread it you do realise there is quite a bit of angst there, especially when they're getting a bit older, you know there's all the bickering and then in Deathly Hallows it just comes all to a head and they finally get it on. But um, yeah, I just love Ron and Hermione, there's so much angst there at first. And um, especially in the first book, you know, Ron's always the one who says stuff about Hermione whereas Harry doesn't really, he just agrees with Ron. So we should have really seen it from the start. But um, yeah, Hermione and Ron from Harry Potter. So yeah, those are my five favourite angsty romances. What are yours? If you want to just comment down below. And as usual, you can like or subscribe to this channel. And there's also my Tumblr, Twitter, Goodreads, Instagram and Snapchat to follow. So I will see you later with another video. Bye!